everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Tuesday, and I am going to show you some goodies that I got from Derm Store, and Tammy shops at the Derm Store a lot, and I was telling you how they did such good shipping and all that kind of stuff, and then a lot of times when I show you something that I got from my local med spa, a lot of times I will link Derm Store because they carry a lot of the things that I already use. So they were nice enough to send me some goodies to try and um, luckily I got to choose some. <laughs> so I have used most of these and I just wanted to tell you and then a couple of them are, ones, are things that are really, really popular and that's what's neat is they sell just all kinds of stuff like all kinds of makeup and then all kinds of skincare. They even sell Obagi. And um, another thing, what else was I gonna say? There was something else that was just on my mind. All kinds of um, sunscreen and um, all kinds of like, you know, Clarisonic, all the latest um, skincare things, but I had something right on the tip of my tongue I was gonna tell you about. Anyway, I'll think about it. But I've, this morning I saw, I think, Tara Babies. I didn't watch the video, but I saw her holding this up and I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna tell you guys about this and show it to you because um, I have a 20% 20, 20 off code and that will help on something like this. Oh, I know what it was. A lot of times when I get Jane Iredale stuff, I get it here locally and I link them because she sells, her derm store sells all Jane Iredale stuff and I've been loving Jane Iredale things for a long time. Okay, this is one of those beautiful palettes. Now I have one that I got a long time ago when they first came out, but the colors are much brighter and it's beautiful, but it's not as easy to use as this one. So I chose this color. It is the By Terry Sun Designer Palette Summer Edition and it is number four, Savannah, Savannah Love. <laughs> I should be able to say that with my Southern accent. And it is just gorgeous. I used this in Friday's video and then I just did a video um, Sunday. I did my sunglasses video. I don't think I used this though. I think I used my other blush that I'm gonna show you. But I used this today and it is just gorgeous. I mean, it is beautiful. All the colors are just the perfect amount of shimmer, the perfect tones. I used today, I used a little bit of that. Um, for my contour or bronzer, you know, whatever. I use contour as bronzer. I, I know people say, you know, that I shouldn't contour because my face is so kind of angular anyway. I can't help it. If I put on, the brush just hits my cheeks that way. Kind of like, you know, your um, brow bone. And if I try to work against that, I end up not liking my makeup. So sometimes you just have to go with what your face looks like, you know what I mean? Instead of trying to work against it. So anyway, um, <laughs> and then um, for our highlight, I used this beautiful gold color, and then I used, what did I use for blush today? I think I used that one for blush today, which if you wanted something brighter, you could use one of those. It's just really, really beautiful, and um, has a great mirror on it, and it comes in this nice, I mean, it's luxe, you know? And I just really think a lot of you would like it, and it would, um, I don't think it's just summery, but it would carry you all through the summer. Okay, then this is something I have been dying to try, and um, I asked for it when I bought all of my Obagi from my plastic surgeon, and um, plastic surgeon, and they also have aesthetics there too. <laughs> and um, she did not have it. My, my med spa, Glow Med Spa, and my plastic surgeon, they didn't have this yet. She said they were going to get trained on it and they didn't have it. So I ended up getting it from Derm Store and it's the Carafine. I've heard a couple people talk about this and they really like it. It's um, like a body smoothing lotion. And I am just an Obagi lover. I mean, I just love everything from that line. And um, it says, with rich emollients, skin softeners, and powerful exfoliants, clinically proven Abaji Carafine Body Smooth and Lotion smooths away rough, bumpy skin patches on arms and legs. So apply to affected areas once daily or as directed by a physician. 
that is something that I recommend. It's okay, the second ingredient is glycolic acid. So it's gonna be similar to the other one I showed you, but probably a little bit stronger. And I just, I don't know, I love anything Biobaji. I think it's gonna work the best. But um, I am looking forward to using this on my like knees and legs, places that I have like sun damage. And of course, you know, backs of my arms all over. I might even mix it in when I'm doing the rest of my body. Cause I just like, I like, um, exfoliating. That is like the key, to me that is the key to my good skincare is, is exfoliating. I know a lot of people really are into moisturizing. That's just never been like the most important thing to me. To me it is exfoliating. So I will definitely keep you up on this and let you know what I think about it, but I've heard so many people brag on it. I can't wait to start using it. I've kind of had everything out here to, ready to show you because I wanted to do it separate, but I couldn't wait and I've been taking stuff out to use. Okay, this is what I wore in my video yesterday and it is so pretty. I forgot how pretty it was. When I, I think it was right before YouTube, I we had a brand new makeup store here in town and they sold um, Jane Iredell and I bought several of these blushes and one of my favorite Jane Iredell blushes, Cheeky. A lot of you have gotten that one, but it's discontinued. But this is an oldie, but a goodie. And it's one of those that doesn't look like a lot in the pan, it's called Cotton Candy. But it is the prettiest, um, like baby pink. Here, oh it shows. With a, just the perfect amount of sparkle, but it's one of those kind of like, um, oh I just put my fingernail in it. It's one of those kind of like, um, exposed or you know Burberry Madly one of those that doesn't look like it does as much on my hand or in the palette as it does on your cheeks and oh I hate that I just did that but it won't bother it but um let me see if I can get it to focus so you guys can see and the, just the perfect amount of shimmer another one I really like is Okay, this is Cotton Candy. There's one called Whisper that is a little bit peachier than this one. Oh, that makes me so mad I did that. Okay, now Sassy's scratching on the chair. Okay, and then this is something else that I have been using nonstop since I got it, and it is the Jouer Powder Eyeshadow, and it is the Single in Almond. And I don't know what it is, but I always love eyeshadows that are named Almond, and the last, the one I think of right off the bat is the Trish McAvoy, and this is very, very similar, and that one is discontinued, but this is what I have on today. It is a very, very nudie, um, the past two times I've worn it, or the past time, all the times I've worn it, um, two times on camera, I just put it in the crease, but today I kind of put it all over, and then a little bit more in the crease, but it's the perfect no eyeshadow eyeshadow, like when you don't really want to look like you're wearing anything, but you want your you know, eyes defined, and it just blends beautifully. I'm not even wearing an eyeshadow base. I've just been putting powder and foundation over my eyelids. So, love that, and I'm looking forward to trying more of those. And this is just a brand I haven't tried much, and I noticed that they sold it there, so I wanted to try some things. And um, so this, I'm gonna start with what's on my lips. This is the Jouer Longwear Lip Cream in the color blush. And that's another thing. Usually I like anything with the name blush. And so here it is. And these are all made, all the packages have the design where you can click them together and make like little palettes and stuff. And so this is what I have on. I probably shouldn't put any more on because it might get, I don't know, with a lip cream, you need to kind of put it on, let it dry and go. But I think it is so pretty. And I have actually had this on a while because I kind of, I put it on before my eyes just to kind of gauge how much I wanted to do with my eyes. And um, then I've been on the phone talking with John and everything else. So, and dealing with my animals. You should see her over there playing. I gotta take a picture. You guys are gonna crack up at my chair over there, what they've done to it, but it's just kind of like a scratching post now. I just let them have it. <laughs> 
Okay, so that is the long wear and lip cream, and um, I've heard lots of good stuff about that. But this, I was so excited to try. This is the long wear lip topper, and this was something that went around YouTube and was so popular, gosh, a couple of months ago, and I never did try it. I guess I just never placed an order somewhere. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't know how much I would like it. I wore this the other day over Kim KW. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I wore this the other day over Kim KW and it was so beautiful. And I thought it was gonna be too shimmery for me. But when you rub it in, it is just gorgeous. And I hate to mess up my matte lip. I was gonna try it over it, but oh my gosh. Okay, you see how just over the top, you know, shiny it is, but when you rub it into whatever you're wearing, it just makes it beautiful. Here, I'll put it just in the center, if that even. And they smell so good. They smell like, um, <clears throat> almost like cake batter, I guess like vanilla. So, oh, that's so pretty. So it is really neat, and I think it would change like a lot of our lipsticks. I'm looking forward to wearing it. Especially, it really helped me wear a nude. Helped it be, I don't know, give it more pizzazz. Okay, so I love those things. Okay, this is um, something that I have been wearing as my last step instead of my Obagi sunscreen. That Obagi sunscreen, the Factor 50 that comes with the Obagi Nuderm line, um, it is sticky. It's one that I like to use if I'm not going to be putting makeup on, but if I'm going to be layering makeup on, I like something that goes on a little smoother and dries down a little bit better. And this has been doing the trick here. And it is the Dr. Dennis Gross, which I have learned that I love this line, but this is the Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Because a lot of the other screen, uh, sunscreens that I have, I like, but they're not 50. And with me, just, oh God, now here comes the jets. Usually there's two of them. We're kind of near a military base. <laughs> We're near Camp Lejeune. And, um, so anyway, a lot of them aren't SPF 50, and with me, my skin is just peeling like crazy and raw because I'm in like that second, first, going from the first to the second stage of Obagi, and I'm just constantly, and I'm using my Retin-A every night, that I wanted to use something stronger, so this has been perfect. And I'll show you, um, it comes out real precise, and it just sinks right in. And this, let's see, um, the Dark Spot Sun uh, Defense. It's got titanium dioxide, 4.9%, and zinc oxide, 4.42%. And apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is classic. Okay, now I think they're gone. But that is just real important. I can't tell you how important that is for keeping your face without getting those dark spots. Even if you have gone through an IPL or whatever and you think that you've gotten rid of them, they will come back up. I mean, they can come back up in like one day if you do not wear sunscreen. You have to like just put something on every day um, or just, you know, I, I was going to say, or make sure you're covered in makeup, but my makeup wears off. I just have to make sure, especially when my skin's real sensitive now. Okay, and then this is another sunscreen that I wanted to try. It is the Brush On Color Science Sunscreen. And I believe they do sell this at My Plastic Surgeons, but this is one that is great to put in your purse and take with you. And it has like the brush and everything built in. And it fights anti-aging fights skin aging, mess-free powder, immediate on-the-go protection, um, broad spectrum SPF 50, um, sun forgettable, I believe it's the medium, yes, medium, yeah, I remember choosing that now, and um, so this is perfect when you're out, and it slides down like that, and then, okay, so then you can go like that, and get all that, because I have to really watch those spots, and then you can twist it back up, and go. Oh, that is so nice. 
that was a great invention there. Okay, and then I ordered these, which are the DHC Silky Cotton, a delicate silk blend wrapped around layers of 100% natural cotton. And I got these to use with my Obagi. Like, and we all use different toners and stuff like that. And these are supposed to be really nice. And I told you that I've been having trouble with my other ones. That's neat. And it comes like in a box that you can just get out of. Oh, yeah. These are nice. Oh, yeah. So they don't, they, they're they closed on the other two ends, but not all of them. And they're real soft. And these will not break apart. I was having trouble with my ones that are so, so soft and aren't sealed on the ends. They've been breaking apart on me when I do my toner. Those are really, really nice feeling. Yeah. I'll let you know how I like them. And then this is another sunscreen I chose. It's the, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce it right. It's like a fancy schmancy sunscreen. It's Gwino. And it's pretty popular. And the one I chose is the Spray Bronze Oil-Free Sunscreen. Um, Oil-Free Moisturizing Protective Spray. Nucleic Defense, SPF 15. And SPF 15 is what I like to use like on my arms and my chest and my legs and stuff like that when I am at the beach. And I looked it up and um, took a screenshot. There's Sassy. It says that uh, Gwino Spray the Grano Spray Bronze Spray SPF 15 provides sun protection while it's lightweight and oil-free formula, formula boosts the natural defenses of your skin. The sunscreen absorbs immediately with a refreshing and beachy scent, helping to reduce any pre-existing inflammation and preventing more from occurring. Your skin is left with long-lasting hydration protection while you build a glowing, healthy tan. And this is what I thought was neat. The key ingredients and benefits, horse chestnut extract, reduces inflammation and impl improves circulation, entolene, soothes skin, reduces swelling, itching, and redness, and hydrocyte complex, combines active moisturizing ingredients for deep hydration. So I thought this would be really good for those with sensitive skin, and um, I just thought it was something neat and different to try. This is SPF medium. And I was just noticing here it says, um, ensures an even lasting tan. And I have noticed that I get a much, you know, when I was younger, I would have never put sunscreen on my legs or my arms because I just, you know, the, the tanner the better when you're, you know, in your 20s or whatever. Um, and then as I got older, I did start putting some on my face, but I still didn't put it on my arms and stuff, unless we were on the boat or something. But um, I have noticed that you get the prettiest, so much more of a pretty tan, a prettier tan when you put a little bit of sunscreen on. Okay, and then I got something just fun and kind of fancy. Remember I told you we were laughing about the sleep mask that John got me? Well, that one, I don't even think I have it anymore. I might have it like in the medicine cabinet or something. Then um, Alginist had sent me a sleep mask with their serum and Brooke took that over. She literally sleeps with it. So I had been wanting to try a sleep mask. And so I got one from Derm Store and they also sell the pillowcase in this. And I picked the, um, <laughs> I picked the pink color and let's look at it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I don't think I've ever had one this nice. And then of course you just take this off, but it's like so soft and padded. Oh my goodness, that is just like my favorite cover, color ever, ever. There's Chanel on the front porch. You make sure she doesn't have a lizard, she doesn't. She's just catting around. But, um, oh, I love that. I wish you guys could feel how soft it is, it's like heaven, like a little pillow. Oh, I love it. It's going to be so um, breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> so thank you to the Derm Store for my goodies. And I just wanted to share the things with you. And then I'm going to try to get much better about my favorites. And because a lot of things, you know, I need to tell you about. I need to check back with you. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then I'll let you go. Be right back. Okay, so today you may have noticed I am wearing the dress that I wore the other day, last week, when I went to Raleigh to Monkeys, and I just thought I would wear it again because so many people had questions about it. And some people asked me, where did I get my bustier, where they didn't realize it was a dress. And um, so I just thought I would wear it and tell you that it is a David Meister dress. 
and I have just noticed that his or the David Meister dresses fit me well and that's what I suggest is once you find something that fits you well then you can you know get more styles and you just kind of know what to order and um, I actually ordered this from I can't remember if I got it from the real real or from eBay but I'm thinking the real real and I just got it had it dry cleaned and I love it and I love um, like this little part right up here and then I have on that really cool little Victoria's Secret bralette that I showed you the one that goes straight across under it so it works out perfect that way I don't have to go without a bra and I don't have to wear a strapless one and I just love the shearing it's like double layered and then it's got the little extra fabric there that always helps and then the shoes I have on are just my nude um nudist song from uh, Stuart Weitzman and these are very comfortable considering that they don't have you know much support or anything they are a good you know out to dinner definitely out with friends they're more than just car to the table shoes you can actually wear them a couple hours but I wouldn't think that you're going to go shopping for hours on your feet but they are good to wear out for a while <laughs> I hope that makes sense okay then for accessories um, I have on my um, I have on my Dean Davidson ring. I love this big ring. I got this. Gosh, was it last? I think last summer. I'll see if it's still on his website. And then I just put on my big hoops and no necklace today. I decided just to do a little something different. So I hope you enjoyed my video and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you oh, tomorrow. I have a field trip. We're going to. I can't remember the name of the farm, but I'm gonna be gone all day tomorrow. And so I'll probably see you on Friday and I'll see you then, bye-bye.